Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Because, man, some dudes, I didn't watch some situations out here. Like, back with these. That's why these rappers are killing themselves, bro. Or they dying. Because they putting themselves in front of certain shit. You feel what I'm saying? They putting themselves in front of the gun. It's you. Because the reason why I say that is you. It's because, like, niggas give you warnings. People give you warnings. It's just like being in a relationship with a fucking slut, bro. At first, this fucking slut is the best bitch that you ever had in your life. And then after she suck you, then next thing you know, you start seeing her phone ring too much. Then next thing you know, she see she ain't asking the phone for you no more. It's like she start to switch up with this person. You feel what I'm saying? But you keep on fucking with her, bro. You keep on fucking with her, bro. It's certain niggas that will keep on fucking with females, get us female money, and know she don't have no intentions on fucking with you, bro. But she's sucking you in some. She giving you all the warnings and showing you all the signs that she don't want to fuck with you. But you continue to fuck with her on the basis because as long as she needs some money, I'm going to fuck with her. So then next thing you know, you start feeling played. Next thing you know, you want to kill this bitch. Why you want to kill this bitch and you been being a sucker the whole time and you know that? So when people realize certain shit and say, Oh, bro, fuck this, I'm about to kill this bitch. You should be more mad at yourself because you allowed yourself to be a motherfucking fool. So it's no way in hell. Like, I'm like, I only got one life. This shit is not Mario Brothers, bro. So when a motherfucker say, Nigga, fuck you, or you on some hoe ass shit, you right. I'm going to stop fucking with you. Because you feel like it's something hoe ass about me. And that means anything I do towards you is not right. And we don't need to fuck with each other because I don't want to even much take it there with you, bro. So I'm going to cut you off. Because if you keep on, keep on, keep on, something gonna happen, good or bad. You have a good solution, and you have bad solutions, bro. And there's always gonna be a solution to whatever happened. There's always gonna be a result, right? It's either we gonna be friends or we ain't gonna talk for it, and one of us gonna be dead and one of us gonna be in jail. So it's always, you gonna be the person standing in front of that hoe, behind that hoe, but you put yourself up. That's when niggas wanna brag about these bodies. Niggas wanna make it sound, they wanna make murder sound cool when murder is really gay. How I say murder is really gay? Because the person that you want out there, you're making this person the most important person in your motherfucking life. You are making this person the most important person in your life that you about to sacrifice everything, bro. Because after you kill that motherfucker, the state of Texas is gonna go kick down your door looking for that. For, they gonna come looking for you behind that nigga. And then when they lock you up, they gonna question you behind that nigga. Then when they go to court, they gonna tell you some more shit behind that nigga. And then next thing you know, you gonna get a life sentence or you gonna get the death penalty behind that nigga. For sure. I'm just saying, they don't see that shit. But guess who about look, man? It was just bro. This little nigga was a peon, and I'm not trying like it was this white boy, bro. He did the most holy shit, bro. That nigga, he, he, they said they did some shit. Them niggas was going around doing some little gangster shit. They was going around shooting people and shit. And the bitch saw them shoot somebody. He shot that girl behind her head. And he, they traced her phone. To whatever happened, they ended up arresting that boy. When you see this boy in court, bro, this dude is one of the most scariest guys that you will ever fucking meet. But on news, what was it, 260, 263, Jim Wallace. That nigga said, that I, bro, he was so scared, like, bro, like, man, I was like, oh, God, I was like, shut your bitch ass up, ho. Like, shut your bitch ass up, you don't deserve no bum, bitch. Man, what? You, what's, what's up? That nigga beating on the door. The guy out there, I said, but, bro, that's why everybody in that tank was laughing. I said, but, bro, he just killed a female, bro. He just killed a female. I just saw that shit, man. I just saw niggas like, bro, like, this. that's why niggas talking about I'm pussy. Like, you damn right. You damn right, when you see the shit close, and because behind the walls, they don't give a fuck about you, bro. Understand that. So, check, like, out here, you can scream, oh, they doing you wrong. But, bro, once you break the law and go behind the walls with these people, when you don't, with the people that don't see, imagine what we went through in the black eye, God knows what the people went through in them. God knows what the people went through in them. It was horrible. It was horrible, and I know it was. Cause I saw some horrible days when I was in the county, you feel me? So when you go back there, they don't give a fuck, bro. Man, I didn't watch niggas be gay, <laughs> have girlfriends that come visit. Nigga, I, nigga, I ain't gotta make the shit up. I watch niggas do acts like, nigga, 
We leaving up out this hole to go to child. These two niggas falling back and staying. See, I, I come back to the tank, like you feel me, just on some fluke shit. Cause I had to go get my ID. See some shit that I, like, bro, and I, like in jail, you gotta mind your business. I mind my business, but I, bro, I'm looking at this nigga though. So like now, like, <laughs> I'm in prison every time I see this nigga after the fact, nigga, I'm looking at this nigga like, what that nigga was talking shit, I say, say, man. Bro, you from the same city, I ain't was gonna blast this nigga cause niggas killed over there. And I ain't got no time for that. But I'm gonna tell this story cause you know who I'm talking about. Nigga, I say, nigga, you from my same city. If I see you with that girl to come to visit every day, I'm gonna let her know that you was a fag in jail, bro. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm God. You ain't gonna do shit, nothing. That's why, like, niggas talking about they hearing stories, they ain't hear no stories about me in prison. Cause I was fading all. Like, I didn't give a fuck. I was fading all because you ain't gonna steal shit. You ain't gonna catch me while I'm asleep. I'm gonna fade all. So, nigga, I'm gonna say it, nigga. I swear, man. <laughs> it was going on my side because I saw him and his girl and I told. Hey, bro, you need to go get tested, man. That nigga like boys. That nigga like boys. Man, bro, I see you. I guess we're gonna get in a shootout, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna get in a shootout, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, man, blah, 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 man, that nigga disappeared. Don't see him no more. That's real. But niggas ain't gonna do that. It's niggas really out here that's on that. They go to jail and behind the walls, it's a different world. These niggas don't, would never understand. And to make it home from that world, bro, they make you a strong man. They make you, if you, like, if you, like, cause you got a lot of niggas that will get out three months and then next thing you know, that nigga, damn Tyrone back. That was not me. That was not me. Every process, every step, nigga, I went from being inside the tech confinement, I went from being a, a, a trustee, I went from being a regular inmate, I went from being in, in tech. I went every phase of prison. And I realized every phase, I was like, I was getting close to going home. I was getting close to saying, I would never come back into this motherfucker again because the decision is based on me and nobody fucking else. So when niggas out here talking about you a hoe, yeah, I am a hoe. I am a hoe. Cause nigga for three years straight, Ferguson, I had to fight. Like I had to fight, it was no, nah, nah. So I'm gonna keep my scary ass at home and play Madden, that's it.